Yes. Now the question says, length of a cylinder wire, cylindrical wire is increased by 10% of its original length. The resistance of the wire increases by. Now guys, here this is very important that you pay attention to. They have mentioned the cylindrical wire, which means they want us to pay attention to the area of cross section also. Now, if you want to increase the length of a cylindrical wire, the only option you have got is by stretching. Correct? So when you stretch the wire length, please remember the resistance of the wire becomes n square times provided the length of the wire becomes n times. So if I write this down, if the new length of the wire is n times the old length while stretching, I can say the new resistance of the wire is going to be n square times the original resistance. Please remember, this is applicable on stretching. And since they have mentioned that it is a cylindrical wire, the only way you can extend its length is by stretching it, by pulling it. And when you increase the length, definitely the area of cross section will reduce down. And that causes this effect. So this you need to remember this as a shortcut. Over here I can say the new length is the original length plus 10% of original length. Because they mentioned that the length is increased by 10%. So I can say this is 0 0.1. 1 plus 0 0.1 is going to be 1.1L. That directly means the value of N over here is 1.1. I hope you get that part. So now if I substitute this value of N over here, I get the new resistance as 1.1 square of R. Which means it is going to be 1.21R. Which definitely I can write that R dash as R plus 0.21R or I can write that as R plus 21% of R. I hope you are getting this. That means if the length of the wire increases by 10%, I can say the resistance of the wire will increase by 21%. And that will be your final.